Hello guys, I'm Futrial. I stream five days a week over on twitch.tv slash Futrial. And in this episode, we're trying to catch up with the guide videos that we made from the Diablo 2 Resurrected servers a couple of weeks ago. Because the Necromancer and the Assassin were not available, we were forced to make the guide video in a Lord of Destruction format. So that's going to be this first video now. This is going to be the Necromancer, and in a couple of hours, the Assassin guide is going to come out. First up, I want to say that this guide is not meant for established players. This guide is meant for people that are returning to the game or people that are completely new to the game. It's very basic, and a lot of the knowledge that is required for this is obtained in just a few minutes. There is nothing super advanced. You can follow this guide very easily as a new player, and I think you're going to be very successful. There is, however, a few things that you should know up front. The Necromancer, for me personally, it's not my favorite build to level. Um, I feel like no matter how you go with the Necromancer, it feels a little bit clunky. There are multiple ways you can level it. Uh, you can go for poisons, you can go for bone spear, you can go for uh, summons. Uh, but in this particular guide, we choose the bone spear build, and that is teeth and then into bone spear. Um, in my opinion, it's the, the one that is the most interactive. It's uh, the, the summon build is kind of passive. So the, the major part of this uh, guide is 34 strength to wear your Ancient's Pledge Shield. You have to get your Stealth Armor and you have to get your Wand for the White Rune Word. If you enjoyed the video, hit me up with a like and a subscribe and be on the lookout for more guide videos from the Diablo 2 Resurrected servers and more content overall. Until next time, take care and I will see you then. So, it's time to go for the Necromancer. Unfortunately, this Necromancer was not available in... Um, in uh, Diablo 2 Resurrected, so we have to do the guide on Lord of Destruction. But um, that's not really an issue. We're going to get going with this as soon as we can. Now, I want to say a couple of things about the Necromancer. Personally, I think the Necromancer is um, a little bit awkward to level. Um, it's because the, the bone build that is most commonly used for leveling isn't really that strong. Um, you can also level as summons, but I think it's a little bit passive for a, for a first time leveling. If you, if you like summons, by all means, you can level as summons. But this guide is going to be leveled with bone. So that was skill tree. Here we go. So we are going to go teeth into bone spear. And we're going to have one point in bone armor. And we're probably going to have one point in clay golem and golem mastery. And um, yeah, that's probably going to be it. Decrepify eventually. But uh, no need to worry about that now. Um, obviously, necromancers use wands. So uh, you could potentially take a look at if you find any wands here with uh, with teeth on it. Alright, level 1 to level 2. We are gonna go for teeth here. And f as for stats, uh, we need 34 strength. Um, so that means 1 strength per level, approximately. And then uh, vitality for the rest. Okay, <laughs> we have a level four. We're just gonna continue with one in strength and the rest in vitality. And we go one more in teeth. <laughs> If you don't mind playing Sorceress, and you want to be efficient, play Sorceress. And then use that to gear up your Assassin. Alright, we're level 5. We are getting there. Um, I'm gonna go... A couple points in energy here, and I'm gonna do that on the next level as well. I am considering uh, a Clay Golem and a Golem Master. That's gonna be a 1 point of each, and then... Uh, 
Uh, we're gonna have one point in Iron Maiden for bosses. So we're gonna have to do those a little bit later. But for now, we just keep on pushing points in teeth. End up paying as an imaginary number. Let's say you you end up paying a bur rune for your Shaco. And then two days later, when you are gonna start playing your your ass uh, assassin, the same Shaco is worth a low rune. So you should be a little bit careful with uh, buying things very expensively in the beginning if you technically don't need to do that. But okay, we hit level six. Uh, one strength. We're gonna go a couple in energy. We're gonna go up to about 35 here to have some more mana. We can put one points in corpse explosion because we have to go bone spear eventually anyway. Um, so we're just. Are we gonna go for it now? Uh, we can use the. Um, we can use the Radamant point for corpse uh, corpse explosion. Uh, I am a uh, supporter of taking one point in bone armor, though. So I think we are going to do that. I Don't click outside the screen. That's not a good idea. We did that twice. Try and uh, not pull so much. Ooh, extra strong. Extra strong, extra fast. Not good. Does this thing freaking heal? Well, that's OP. But we got level 7. Uh, we continue with 1 in strength. We're gonna do a couple in energy for the extra mana, and then vitality. We want to end up on uh, 34 strength, as mentioned before. Uh, can uh, Oh yeah, we can take 1 point in clay golem. So we are gonna do exactly that. Small shield. That's a leg loss, right? Yep. All right, level eight. We put two points, so we have 35 total. Uh, one more in strength and vitality. And then we go over here and we can now take more in teeth. Okay, level 9, we continue, and I think we're happy with the 35 for now, and we're happy with this, because we have one point in clay, we're gonna take one point in clay golem, or in golem mastery, I mean, when we uh, get that far, uh, but no need to do anything more than just put points in teeth right now. No spells on that one, so no need. Okay, level 10. One strength. And we're gonna bomb the rest in vitality for now. I um, think it might be time to... Level 10? Nah, we're, we're gonna go... Uh, still gonna go teeth. We're probably gonna go teeth until level 14, 15. And then uh, we're gonna hit up Amp damage and Iron Maiden for the bosses. Alright, level 11. We continue on the same path. Oh, 
Well, maybe when we keep getting more uh, levels, it will uh, even out. But that's level 12. Uh, dump that immortality, and that's the first point in... Uh, first and only point in Golem Mastery. Just get that done. Now we need to put two points in Amp and Iron Maiden before we go Corpse Explosion. So we have to be ready to click one in Bone Spear at level 18. So level 18 here, level uh, 17, uh, level 16, and level 15. What level are we now? 12. Yeah, I was gonna. I, I should check the scepter as well. I uh, just spaced out when it was there, and I thought like I'm gonna go back. Uh, but okay, continue with one strength and four in vitality. And what did I say? Three more in T, so that means two more after this. If you want to be uh, competitive on launch, uh, you would play Sorceress, and then use the Sorceress to uh, gear up whatever else you want to play. We're going to continue here, one strength, uh, actually, nah, oh yeah, base 33, let's go to base 35, then we start putting points in vitality, and teeth. mana potions. Alright, level 15. So that's the last point we put in teeth from here on we have to start putting point in corpse explosion and in iron maiden Okay, level 16. Now we're getting closer to um, what we're gonna have to do here. So we have to put one point in Amplify now, so we can reach Iron Maiden on the next level. Very important. Uh, shift left click puts potions in your belt. All right. That was not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. Yikes. Okay, so that's the point in Iron Maiden. So now we put Iron Maiden there, and we have that combo. Bolting.
when have they said that? I haven't heard anything about that being allowed, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know. Alright, first point in Bone Spear. So we're gonna probably get level 19 right here. Yes, we did. All right, level 19 at the end of Maggot Lair. And an extra point in Bone Spear. Not bad. And you know, there, there's a, as I said, as I told Lucas, there is, a, there's a ton of like uh, niche meme builds, and some of them are okay, some of them are, are, you know, people just pay them for the hell of it. Um, I don't really see any point in trying to, uh, to rank them all. Throw barb is uh, unplayable. It's an F tier build in uh, Resurrected. Absolutely terrible. Alright, level 20. And we see here base 33. We want to be at base 34 for the large shield. Then we drop the rest in vitality. And then we go one more point in Bone Spear. Alright, so we uh, arrived at Duriel. We're level 20 and almost 21 actually. So we're gonna do the opening like that, and we're gonna go and sort out our mercenary trick. No trouble in my camp here. So I like to uh, hold off on buying a mercenary until we are about to go for Duriel, and we're gonna go for a defensive. Defensive 17. I think that's the highest, right? Yeah, Emilio. It's gotta be Emilio. Yeah, probably like something like that, Dean. Probably something like that. So sounds about right. Uh, and we, di we did not find the runes for Malice. So we are just going to give him this uh, weapon anyway. Uh, but here comes the trick. So, as I've shown you before in other builds, this Thawing Potion is uh, very, very interesting. Because it doesn't just remove Frozen from you. If you take a look at the mercenary, he has 34 all res. But if I give him Thanks. Thanks. these potions, Thanks. now all of Thanks. a sudden he has 84 cold res. And for every potion you drink, you increase the, the time by 30 seconds. So when I eat four of those and I give four of them to my mercenary, we are both going to have 85 or 84 cold res for two minutes. Um, down here there's not really much you can do other than uh, summon your, your clay golem and keep... Iron Maiden on the real. Heal your mercenary as much as you can. And if it dies, it, it usually will get one shot like this, but you just resummon it. And uh, Duriel is going to kill himself. There you go. Very, very, very quick. And very, very simple. 
with the Iron Maiden uh, Iron Maiden and Clay Golem trick. trick. Alright. Um, as you guys can see, we have hey just beaten Duriel. We can go to Act 5 or Act 3. Uh, but we're gonna stop the, the guide here. So it ends pretty much exactly where the the Diablo 2 Resurrected Guides end. So from here, you know, as I mentioned before, there are multiple ways of leveling a Necromancer. I like to level it with Bone Spear, and you can see all the synergies in the Bone Spear build down right there. You have Teeth, Bone Wall, Bone Prison, and Bone Spirit. So you can pretty much level this build without any regard of having to respec. Um, the only investment, so to speak, that you do is the uh, Iron Maiden and the Clay Golem. Getting the Golem Mastery is probably not needed. I just like to do it uh, out of old habit. But you don't have to get the Golem Mastery. You can take one point in Clay Golem only. So the continuation, as I said, you're just going to max out the Bone Spear and the synergies from here. Uh, if you get any extra points after that, you can either put it in bone armor, you can uh, go down some curses, maybe take the decrep, maybe even lower resist for uh, for um, corpse explosion support later on, or you can go for one in summon res and then more in clay golem. It's all up to you. Uh, the gear is pretty all straightforward as well. We did shop this plus two to bone spear bone wand, and this is what you could do. Uh, when you get to Act 5, this is your socket quest. You get two sockets on here, or you find one like this with two sockets on. You can make the rune word white when you get to Nightmare Countess. You would farm Doll Io and make the white rune word in this bone wand. You would also make Ancient's Pledge when you reach Act 5. That's the three socketed rune word for a shield. And I'm going to show you up here. Farah is, is right here. And she sells, if you look at the armor tab, these large shields right here. Uh, you can keep checking this uh, vendor. And uh, you just go to the waypoint, go to a zone. Don't go to another city, like Rogue Encampment. That does not reset the vendor. You have to go to the wilderness, and you go back. And now Hello. she will have re-rolled her items. Now, this is a one-socket one, so you ju would just do that until you find a three-socket large shield. You see the required strength 34, that's the reason why we went for 34 base strength in here, as you can see. So that's uh, that's pretty much the continuation. White Wand, Ancient's Pledge, Good. and you can potentially, since you are farming Countess on Nightmare, you can also make yourself a lore helmet. It's Ort Sol in a two-socketed helmet. You can buy one in a two-socket helmet from normal um, from normal Charcy. Uh, she will have one of those about 50% of the time you check. So let's uh, let's see how lucky we are this time. Oh, hi there. Don't even worry about the defense. Yeah, there we go. You can pick up this one and make lore in this as soon as you get to uh, Nightmare Countess Ortsol in this helmet. And your rune words are pretty much covered. White, Stealth, Lore, and Ancient's Pledge. And then you just stack out your items with as much FCR and resistances as you can. Pretty straightforward build. Uh, one of the good things with this build is that you can actually keep this build when you have leveled up. Um, you don't need to respec for the sake of the talents you, you know obviously you're going to you're going to respect later on because of the stats and stuff like that when you you know you get your annihilus you get better gear you you end up having too much strength or too much dex whatever and uh, then you want to respect but for the sake of the talent points you can play this one build from level 1 to level 90 no problems so that uh, was the necromancer and it's time to attack the last build, the last guide video we have. That's going to be the Assassin. If you enjoyed the Necromancer video, please hit me up with a follow or a subscription. And uh, leave a comment underneath the video. Until next time, take care, and I will see you there.